y'all welcome to the style chronicles i wanted to share this makeup look with you guys it's a easy kind of everyday glam makeup look it is not like full-on lashes and eyeliner and all that stuff it's just a pretty daytime simple makeup tutorial so that is it um i hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far a wonderful week and stay tuned and I will show you how I achieve this. It's some pretty kind of foiled eyeshadow. It's not foiled, but it's um, a metallic kind of shadow in the inner corner and then just a matte shade in the outer corner. And then like I said, no mask, no um, lashes. <laughs> Definitely mascara because you wouldn't be able to see my eyes if I didn't have mascara on. Um, and then just simple everything else for every day. So yeah, please stay tuned and I will show you how I achieve this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back. I'm going to take some of those Anastasia Beverly Hills singles. This is the shade French Vanilla. No, what is it called? Oh my goodness. How horrible am I? Fresh. It's called Fresh. It's just pretty much my skin tone. I'm going to take that onto an eyeshadow brush and just get that all over my lid and highlight. It's a very matte shade that will just help all my other eyeshadows go onto my lid easier. So it's just skin tone color and that just goes everywhere. Like so. Okay. Then I'm gonna take this color right here, which is called Birkin. This is Birkin, this is Bangle. Bangle has a lot of shimmer in it. This one is very matte. Most of the colors I have are matte. These two are metal shadows. Um, which are really pretty, but I'm going to take that Birkin color and that is going to go directly into my crease right in here. And I'm just going to draw it on. And I like to do little bitty, like round circles in kind of a semicircular shape. So just like this. And then go back and forth. And I usually do about two dips into that shadow just to get that kind of crease going right there. And I'm not pulling it down, I'm brushing it, flicking it up, if you notice. Down I'd be doing kind of this thing. I'm trying to keep it up higher than where my crease would be. And it just gives me a little bit of a shadow, you can see it on that side, of a crease. Nothing too out there, just kind of creating some depth on my lid. Same thing on the other side. Just get that in there. And then I'm going like this very, very quickly on my lid. Just in a windshield wiper motion, but like little flicks. Okay. And then from the Anastasia Self Made Palette, this is a palette that I created myself with individual shadows. This is the self-made palette that came pre-made pre with all these really pretty colors. Um, but the notable one in this one is that pink champagne shade, which is just amazing. Um, that's one swatch, and it's just beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's like a beacon. You can't really see it, can you? It's just like a beacon, a beautiful... Speaking of beautiful rose color, so I'm going to take that on. This is a MAC 233 brush. It's a dual fiber. And I'm going to get that pink champagne onto the brush. And that's just going to go from the center of my lid into my inner corner. Oh, I just picked up a different color. Okay. So keeping it really down low and then just bringing it in like so. Same thing on the opposite side. 
center and then into that inner corner. Just like that. And then with a outer crease brush, which I did not consider, this is my Chanel brush. It is the number 20, the Contour Shadow brush. I'm going to go in with that hot chocolate shade right here. It's a very dark chocolate color. Let me get my hair out of my face. Okay. That one on the tip is just going to go right in here. And then bring it in slightly. Same thing. I'm just creating an outer V. Okay, and you might have to deepen it up just a little bit. Okay, and then with that first brush, it's the MAC 221. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to go in and blend this outer edge and that first crease color together. Same thing on the other side. Just making it a little seamless and nice. And then with that second brush that I put the shimmer on with, I'm going to go in and just blend that, kind of pop it into that shadow. And then with that 221, I'm going to blend this together. And the reason why I didn't do it all together was because I want that shimmer to stay here in the center and not be everywhere, and that's how I can control it, it's just by doing it in small sections. Right in here, that way, and then just flick this onto that dark section. And you might have to go back in a couple of times with that dark color to keep it really nice and matte, because I don't really want shimmer on it. I want it nice and matte. So we are just doing it like so. And then just making sure that it does blend into that shadow. Okay. And then for a little bit of highlight in this upper area because I have it very, very matte. I'm going to use my contour palette, the contour kit by Anastasia, and this is the light one. Um, I'm going to use this color right here, which I believe is vanilla, and I'm just going to pop it underneath my brow just to highlight that area a little bit. And then I will go in with some blush. And I'm going to use this color right here. I believe it is well dressed. Let's just make sure. Oh, it's Dolly Mix. Jeez, I was way off, wasn't I? Okay, so Dolly Mix from right here. I'm just going to go on to my cheeks. And I'm going to finish up with some mascara. You can see, can you see, I don't know, that shadow on my eyes. 
-hmm. Like I said, I'm going to finish up with some blush. Okay, so since I am so messy with mascara, I have to do it off camera because I get it all over my lids and then I have to go in and uh, wait for it to dry and then go clean it up. So I went ahead and did it and got it over with. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I put that Dolly Mix blush on my cheeks. I'm going to use the Anastasia highlighter in Starlight Illuminator, which is a very pale, really nice highlight if you're pale like I am. It's very, very pretty. And then my Anastasia A23 brush to apply that right to the tops of my cheekbones. And then I brush it down into my blush. Um, and I really like how that makes my skin look. So right on top and then dragging it downward. And then I also go up here into the center, down, center of my nose, and then almost around my eyebrows, but not completely. And of course, right there. Okay. Okay. So that is that. Um, for my foundation, I use the Makeup Forever HD foundation. This is the shade 210. And then my concealer is my MAC, my trusty MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And this is the shade NW15, which I'm almost out of. My eyebrows, I use the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Chocolate. Looks like that. Um, I actually have two other colors because I had to go through a couple of different trials in order to get the right shade down. I need to brush my eyebrows back up. Um, and then for my lip, I'm going to use the NYX Lip Pencil in the shade Rose, which is a really pretty pinky color. And I'll go ahead and do that. I did fill in a little bit because all I'm going to do, I really like these for just everything. Like I don't need a lipstick or a lip um, gloss on top. I just like it to kind of uh, wear everywhere. So that one, and then I'm going to take, this is the Dior Creme de Rose, the Smoothing Lip Balm. Can you see that? There you go. Okay. And I'm going to take that and just kind of blend the pencil out. And make sure that it's there. And it's like a lip balm, but like a colored lip balm. I like it. I don't know. I love just a lip pencil with a lip balm. I think it looks really, really pretty sometimes. So that is my completed look. And since it's for daytime, like it's Friday and I'm just going to wear this out today to run errands and go to work and stuff. Um, I don't do lashes or liner, and my reasoning behind that is just it's an everyday kind of easy glam look. Now at night, I will come home and touch up the shadows, do some liner, and throw some lashes on, um, and yeah, just sometimes even just leave my mouth the same, but for night, definitely lashes. I like to wear lashes Friday through Sunday, um, whether it's daytime or nighttime, just so that I'm in the practice of always having them on and putting them on, um, but for week days. I'm usually just, you know, simple face, simple makeup. Um, but this is a real pretty fun Friday look for me. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to talk to you guys later. Oh, um, somebody said on my last video about my hair, the comb that I bought to use that I asked, if, I asked if it would melt and they told me no, but it did. I was using it to straighten my hair this morning with my chi and it fried the little bristles. So, I think it was a Sam Vila brand of comb that was suggested. And so I'm going to go check that out on Amazon today because 
I just can't deal. These things literally <laughs> melt in my hair and it drives me nuts. Um, so thank you so much for your suggestion. I'm going to go check that out. I actually have to head to Amazon online today to order ladybugs for our azaleas outside because we found that we have a weird parasitic bug living on our azaleas and that's why they did not bloom this year um, and it's like sucking the chlorophyll out of the they're called lace bugs sucking the chlorophyll out of the leaf so the leaf is literally spotted and yellow and brown and weird and ugly and these things live on the underside of the leaf so we've never seen them and didn't realize we had them until I found them online because I was looking up what could possibly be wrong with our azaleas and online and I saw these little bugs and I told my husband and then we went outside and looked at the azaleas and flipped them over and there's all these little bitty and they're like millimeter in length they're like they're tiny but they have little wings that look like lace um, and so you put in the afternoons but anyway thanks so much for watching I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday and I will talk to you later bye bye